Well, I finally have it working. So this right here is the Megasquirt 2 computer. Um, this is like a DIY ECU that you can use in, in any vehicle. Um, and I've got like a little Bluetooth uh, transmitter here. I was using that to view all the readings and such from my phone. Uh, this little test board sort of represents the different sensors that are on my vehicle. So there's an O2 sensor, throttle position sensor, coolant, manifold air temperature, and if we come around here, um, you can see I can adjust on this test board um, RPM count and a fine tuning of the RPM. So before I was able to change these values and I could see them on my phone because the Bluetooth transmitter uh, would give the app on my phone a signal and I could post a screenshot of what it looks like on the app but I thought it'd be cool to connect Arduino up to it so here I have an Arduino Mega uh, 2560 I've got CAN bus wires high and low yellow sun high green grass low and these are coming out of the Mega Squirt 2 so feeding that over into this CAN bus module that I have connected to the Arduino and then I've got a little rotary encoder switch here I can turn it and it's got a certain number of clicks on a given rotation and it also has a, a button and I can control whether or not I'm in edit mode or whether or not I'm selecting a display so here you can see that if I just turn the knob um, the hash it's a little hard to see here but the hashtag symbol is to let me know that I'm in display select mode so if I want to edit this display I know that if I press the button and I go into edit mode I'll be updating the value that's displayed um, on that screen so to give a little demo here uh, to see this working in real time, I'll go ahead and up, I'll update the value of the RPM here on the uh, test module of the Mega Squirt by rotating it, and you'll see it change here. So it's RPM, and then if I update coolant, I need to do some division here and um, set the decimal value and such but you can see that I am getting uh, different readings here now so I'm I'm pretty stoked about this I, I plan on up uploading some source code online um, once I get this polished up a little bit and eventually I'd like to have this in my car uh, just because I, I think it'd be fun so, so far I can see um, RPM, uh, let's see here, manifold air temp, coolant, AFR, air fuel ratio, and uh, throttle position. It's a little laggy. I think I might need to reduce the number of times it uh, reads values. I think that's affecting the the responsiveness of the encoder knob. So that's it. Took me about I want to say a week maybe to write the code. It's probably taking me two to three years though of studying electronics and just to get to this point